Alright guys, today's video is going to be on hand arm signals and I'm doing a voiceover um, over some footage and you're going to see me actually do the hand arm signals um, in video format here in a couple seconds. So uh, about two days ago I did a video on patrolling and I taught you four types of patrols. So in that same order that I did the, the video, uh, the patrolling video, I'm going to show you in that same order the types of patrolling and the hand arm signals for them. Um, I guess the first tip I can give you right off the bat is make sure that you're very distinct with uh, your hand arm movements and very uh, decisive with them because if you don't give decisive uh, hand arm signals not everybody's gonna be on the same page um, all right so we're jumping into a uh, the tactical column I'm pretty sure um, all right so as you see there I'm waving my hand back like a like an arm stretch okay and I'm doing it for uh, two angles and try and get it as far back as you can um, sometimes it's not that easy because it is a stretch but make sure you have straight arms and everything and just wave it backwards not forwards do a backwards motion that's the tactile call the next one is the skirmishers right um, or actually the skirmishers left uh, for this one um, so you see how my left arm was up there and my right arm was down you have to do it with both uh, both arms are required for this type of hand arm signal and the left arm goes up uh, whatever whatever direction skirmishers or echelon right left because that's another name for the skirmishers but I won't confuse you whatever arm uh, whatever uh, type skirmishers right you would put your right hand up um, now this one is going to be the wedge this one also requires two hands and and you just put both your hands and arms down to the side at a 45 degree angle making a triangle um, make sure that you're very distinct with it because it's going to be low to the ground and if you're patrolling around some people only might only be able to see your head so make sure you're looking at them make sure you look back and, and uh, show the person behind you because that's what the that's what the hand arm signals are for it always goes back the squad leader who's in the front or should be in the front the team leader or whatever he's going to bring back the the hand arm signal and everybody's going to listen to him now this one is the ranger file all right simple enough you put your hand in a straight fashion right in front of your uh, your face so the middle of it should be about in your nose and that's the ranger file um, this one's super easy you can do it with one hand which is uh, awesome because you should only be doing the ranger file in uh, urban combat right as you as you learned in two days ago in that video and uh, yeah that's about it guys if you if you enjoyed this please tell me if you want to see more hand arm signals please tell me um, I really don't care about the likes. I really just want to see the comments of what you guys want to see. So uh, let me know what you want. I'll see you guys later, though.